Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Solo Challenge. As always, we have 12 generations, and I'm going to turn off 63TR. People asked me recently what was my highest score, and I think the answer is close to 140. I know I have a number of runs in the 130s. I'm not sure if I've broken 130 with uh, Prelude. We've gotten past 150 without Prelude, so I think that we are going to leave Prelude on. Um, and turn off 63TR and do a little bit of score chasing. Again, we still have to terraform the whole planet, so it's not like we don't have to terraform, but we just have, uh, some more opportunities, uh, for some, some greatness. Now, we actually have, have hit, I don't want to say the mega load, but like, oh my god, we're gonna go Valley Trust in an instant here, we're gonna get... Uh, Galilean mining because that's fantastic uh, and then I'm gonna try and get as much money early as early as possible because we have a points per Jovian we've got advanced alloys and IO mining like oh my god um, arguably I need to grab giant ice asteroid like it's gonna be it's gonna be useful and if I really want to like, know that I have good cards coming. I can grab Space Mirrors and Radchem. But Radchem is not as powerful anymore um, in this new world of not chasing... Uh, of not chasing TR. So let's just do this. We have advanced alloys, so the Galilean mining is going to be extra sweet. The nitrogen shipment is just fine. It's a little bit of cash early on. And we're going to see. Uh, we want the sponsor we want a sponsor or even a loan hard not to grab orbital construction yard here let's we're all in on titanium we are all in on titanium now i'm going to advanced alloys just to see where that leaves me enough to get a giant space mirror but we're actually going to pass Get three more titanium with our three titanium income. Valued at $4 a pop, $28 worth of titanium. Again, we haven't done anything yet, so let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Uh, Underground City might actually be useful. We have advanced alloys, so getting that uh, metal production would be quite nice. And then there's IO mining. Bam! With a $11 left over, too, is, is quite rad. Um... And that's $20 worth of titanium a turn. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, this run is going to live and die on getting titanium. Space cards. So, let's see what we can do for that. Arguably, energy saving urbanized area is good. Uh, you know what? They are good. I'm just going to say that they're good, and I'm going to move on. Uh, I'm going to get advanced... Or, I'm going to get this good old space mirrors because we need energy production and i think that now is as good a time as any to get uh this underground city start getting that steel income um i think this is the best space it just it just holds down the fort if we do get another city here we double up in a couple of ways and get the free point it, it's just fine a lot of expansion opportunity um Again, $20 worth of titanium. We just need to keep getting space tags. We have a couple in our hand. We drafted uh, space tags, importantly. Uh, Valley Trust is really not giving us much as a corporation right now. It's just minus two on space tags. You may have seen that at the very start. And it gave us that prelude, which gave us the um, titanium production for titanium, which is obviously quite good. So now we need to really think about how we're going to terraform this planet. Um, because we're not, we're not right, we're not there. Uh, I had urbanized area, so maybe there was something better to be done. Uh, with my city placement. For now, I think I still play the urbanized area. Well, you know what? Oh, $36. Right now we have six times four. I think we just giant ice asteroid next turn. Or do we comet this turn? Times seven. Let's get as much money coming back in as we can. And instead of going for cards, I'm going to just grab the titanium to really push that. 
Next turn, we'll grab the cards and two plants, and that'll, that'll send us off to the races. Um, and then we'll grab this card, because whatever. It's good. Cards are good. Money is good. Um, heat production? I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I ain't afraid of no heat production. We're on, we need it. Uh, we have some good space events to pump the heat and get some oceans down early, but that is not going to be enough to, uh, you know, seal the deal for us. We, we got a long way to go and a show time to get there. We're going to grab all these. Uh, I need energy production. Heat trappers is a really cheap energy production, but I do have energy savings, so uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Seems like we can get away without without it. Uh, let's grab the two cards and the two plants. That's enough to get a green rate. It's enough to get a heat production from our track. Um, big points card, large convoy, and it's a space tag, so that's good. If I took the investment loan, I don't see anything I would do with it just yet, so let's hold on to that. We're just going to take this bad boy, put it down for some plants, enjoy a little bit more TR. 22 TR, 6 money income. That's nice, but again, $20 worth of titanium and $6 worth of steel. Like, this advanced alloys is really going to pay so much dividend. Uh, we'll, we'll lose a point for heat. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is good. So we're going to get this bad boy... That allows me to get, I think I want to get as many cities as I can. So I think I, can I get two energy production? Yes. Because what I want to do is I would really like to get that immigrant city down because then we'll start getting more income when I play cities. And we're just going to put this here fine spot for it whatever right no big deal uh but then if we take this city and we put it in between now all of a sudden we're getting a point from their greenery and a point for our thing and we've made a triple greenery spot which is nice um and i will take the investment loan because we need heat really badly i don't have a heat production card but i do have energy oh and i can't play it oh no I thought I could play this. I did all that, but I forgot that the investment loan cost me three bucks. Uh, I don't want to give up any of my other cards, though, so I guess I'm going to just make the most of that and get a little plant income. We are very close to playing, um, well, water import from Europa and just buying some oceans for three titanium, 12 bucks, right? So, uh, trees is really good. We're so far away, but it is really good, and it's something to do. And I think that without a card engine, we're going to be looking for things to do. So if I do energy savings now, that gets us a lot of energy. It allows me to... I have to use both my steel to do this this turn. But it allows me to sell a plant for seven bucks, which is awkward, but it's fine. Uh, then we would very much so like to get our Jovian bad boy going on here. Oh, I could have done my greenery first had I done things in different orders. Because this placement got me two plants. Had I just built the greenery here or here, I would have still had the plant. Oh, but I may not have had the money. So let's not, let's not beat ourselves up too much on that. So far, things are going quite well, actually. Like, I'm, I'm happy with this. Uh, there's Terrifying Ganymede and Methane from Titan. We've just gone from going quite well to doing very, very amazing. Like, we're doing so good all of a sudden. That is pog. I'm going to grab this uh, titanium now. Uh, that's going to get us up to 2% oxygen. And that allows me to play Methane from Titan, which is fantastic. Like, good timing. I have the perfect amount of titanium. Everything is amazing. Uh, peroxide power makes sense. 
Oh, I meant to use my steel. Okay, um, I'm gonna buy a heat bump here. I think I'm gonna buy a heat bump. That or an ocean. Uh, let's buy a heat bump because that gets us a heat production, and we need to keep this uh, keep this run rolling. Keep it rolling. We're going to Gen Nine. We don't have that much TR, but again, we just need to terraform the whole planet. And all of a sudden, six heat production, six energy production, four plants. Like it really c came together with that little Jovian play there. Uh, more Jovians towing a comet. Uh, because of terraforming Ganymede, we're actually in a weird place where. Uh, getting the 63 TR may have actually been easier because that's the only card I think that really pushes um, the TR to being easier. That and like the ones that are spend a little bit of energy for a uh, a big pop, like a big um, oh my god English here. Uh, spend a little bit of energy and get a TR, like a, a energy income per TR. That's another big one that really. Uh, Makes 63 TR work well. And obviously, it goes without saying that uh, a corporation like uh, UNMI does very, very well under the circumstances of needing to get TR. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have five energy tags. This is actually going to be energy into heat, energy into heat. So it's really on generations... 11 and 12 this will be five heat five heat this is like a really slow heat bump uh but the energy might give us something else the problem is that i've already seen physics complex go by i'm not sure that this is actually worthwhile but it's as good as getting a heat bump so i'm gonna do that instead and have a little bit of flexibility if we get some cards that directly pump the oxygen for instance Though we should be happy to buy greeneries. Like, there, we have a lot of potential points on the board here. Uh, Ice Asteroid. Earth Catapult is very questionable. Um, and then copying a building tag. Like, two steel production is cool, but, like, to what end? It's not really giving us um, anything meaningful. So there's only two productions left, right? So we'll take the Earth Catapult because I'm a sucker for catapults. And we'll get the double ocean. Is there something in my hand that I want to play? I got two more oceans in here. I got three oceans plus this. I already have enough oceans, but this is still going to be the most convenient way to get oceans down. So... Let's not worry about it too much. Inventor's Guild is cheap, and now we finally have a little bit of card engine. Uh, optimal error breaking, how dare you come this late? I'm still going to grab you just in case, but like, man, that's that's a painful grab. <laughs> it's a very painful grab. I forgot to sell my steel. Uh, and we'll just put this in the spot that makes sense. I mean, getting four bucks back is is also good. We should do that too. Uh, 12 heat plus the six plus... Okay, so we're getting like 14. We're so... With one optimal arrow breaking proc, we're actually going to get enough for three heat bumps. Minus six is actually shy of tree. So we're really hoping for a card like Asteroid or Big Asteroid. That would be good. Something to use our energy on as well would be fantastic. Uh, AI Central is fine. Bushes and moss are good. We just don't... We're kind of out of runway right now is our problem. Uh, getting a little bit of heat production is not meaningful. Uh, AI Central is really late to the game, but I think it's what I'm going to do. Four cards and a point for uh, expensive... Expensive... Something like Space Hotels does convert titanium to money, but is that required right now? Not really. Oh, I'm actually not quite as close as I thought I was to getting um, the heat bumps I thought I could. But at least we're going to get bushes, right? So bushes goes down. We have a cheap ocean card. Uh, this greenery is obviously going to go here because it's a, the most money back and the most plants we can get. Uh, opens up something like Large Convoy, Extractor, okay. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. We'll go here. We have one production left and a lot to t terraform. Like, a lot. So, let's... <clears throat> Excuse me. If, if you want to be worried, now is a good time to be worried. We're going to do optimal arrow breaking anyway. And just keep the greeneries alive. This will get us a bunch of cards, right? So... Inert gas or processor actually is really uh, fantastic. So this gets us up to three plants. Then that gets us up to five more. <clears throat> because we're worried about the game, we're going to A, do this to get oxygen. And B, just keep buying our greeneries along this water. To make as much money as we can. We've actually wasted this free ocean with what I've just done, but I it's it's worth it. It just I it is. Um now we just have to do one last calculation here. We can convert five heat production over. Because we have eight coming in and seven, so all we need is the one to come down. Unless we're going to get space events. Ah, uh, no, because of one space event is actually enough for a whole heat bump. So I'm actually, instead of having $5, I'm going to gamble on getting a space event. We have a lot of a lot of TR to get. I don't actually think that we're on track for a win here. I don't think I... You can blame uh, the Earth Catapult. Because I know that's what people like to blame, but I'm not. I'm not convinced that that was the the issue here. And this card's pointless as well. Is there a space thing? No. Algae's cool, but it's not enough. And media archives is basically only breaking even right now. You buy it for three, it costs six, and you get eight bucks back. Am I going to play a, another event? Maybe, but it's not worth breaking even. Let's draw two cards. Tundra farming, fuel factory is a bit late. So we'll get this oxygen click. Let's look again. Industrial microbes, again, good card, wrong time. I don't know why I ever grabbed trees. What a hopeful grab that was. And I never got my space event. Maybe I should have ran down here to try and get these cards instead of taking my guaranteed money back where I'm at, but I'm not sure that that actually would have been better. Um, we might not be dead. We can greenery into here. That's a lot of plants, right? Oh, we're so dead because I can't even buy the heat. Ugh. How much titanium do I have right now? down to three dollars okay so we can we can always afford that for the points so that's another one then again just because it's like the most points you may as well go there that's another tr point and greenery point and then this one bam oh no i should have done that here for a for a plant i'm i'm in crazy i'm insane um, well, that's fine. Tundra farming gets us a single plant. So yeah, so we've lost. Um, but let's see if we would have won in 63 TR without even chasing 63 TR. Because this costs three more dollars. Yeah, okay. This is good. Because all I need to do is you. For how much TR? Okay, not even close. I mean, had I kept the other card for 2 TR, we would have been up, would have been up to 60. But, again, just it's, it felt like a great run. But I maybe I spent too much time playing around with the cities trying to get income. Like, it's hard to go cities and greeneries and, um, and Jovians. A lot of Jovians. Uh, no longer have enough to convert to greeneries. Done. Let's see what we got, though. 29 points on cards. It's not bad. Thick cities. 12 points greeneries. 11 point there. 29 points. We're up to 110. You know, 
110 for a loss just shows you that you had the potential on the run. But five heat bumps is not trivial. Not trivial. I wasn't skipping heat production cards. I wasn't even skipping energy cards. I, um, you know, arguably uh, only made my money back on Earth Catapult. And that prevented me from playing things a turn early. So, like, nay. But you never know if you're just going to trip into an anti-grab and something and be like, ah, if I had that and the Earth Catapult and now I'm drawing three cards per turn and those cards are good and I'm drafting good cards. Instead, at the end, it was like, you want those production cards you were missing? Yikes. Anyway, this is a sick start. So, three points per Jovians, tons of titanium. Let's go. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.